of all, congratulations on the movie. I just wanted to say, like, from the start to finish, I loved it so much. And I feel like it's so relevant now with what's going on, you know? I feel like it's super, super relatable. So what do you hope people take away from the film when they watch it? I hope that people will take away that, um, you know, this film shines a spotlight on uh, coming together and using your differences as, I guess, one power and using your uniquenesses as, you know, a power and a posit positive uh, side to you, I guess. Um, but just, yeah, self-empowerment, I feel like is the biggest message. And it's such a diverse cast. I feel like that's, you know, just, I'm really proud to be a part of a film that's so diverse and uh, really shows how things should be today. Teamwork is better than the vision. Uh, and I think that's what you see our characters learn throughout the movie that together they're stronger than, uh, they're, you know, they're stronger united. For me, I want people to take away the fact that it's okay to be who you are. Uh, I think as every single character in the movie is individual, we are all individual in our own ways in life. And it's what makes us all so special and it's what makes the world turn. It would be no fun if we were all the same. I think we'd all get quite bored very, very quickly. Uh, so definitely about accepting yourself and accepting who you are and who you're meant to be as well, because we all have a journey to go on and a path to be on. And I think it's knowing that whatever happens is supposed to happen uh, and knowing that it, it wouldn't be there if you weren't able to cope with it and deal with it in some way. I guess my wish is that like, you know, adolescents and younger kids who are watching it can identify with us and see that we are, I mean, yes, we are royals and yes, we have superpowers, but we're also just regular teenagers going through things as well. Um, and it's important to see people and appreciate people and never judge a book by its cover. Yeah, I think that one of the most important things for people to take away from this film is in Secret Society of Sacred Bone Royals, you know, our characters are the underdogs. You know, we're the underdogs of the firstborns. And I feel like one of the big themes in Disney before this film was, was always about the firstborn, you know, it was always what they were doing, how they were going to lead their kingdom. But in this sense, you know, it's our job to, even though we are the secondborns who are deemed, you know, useless, we are the ones with the superpowers that are there to protect the kingdom. So I feel the message that I think people should take from this film is that um, it doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, what you're afraid of, what you're not afraid of, you know, you are unique to yourself and that makes you special and important all on its own. And I love the dynamic that the two of you guys also have on set. So what was that like? Do you maybe have any f favorite memories from working together? Yeah, well, I think, so we were filming in Toronto, which I know I've never been to. Noah, maybe you've been, but not really like stayed in, right? I was younger. Yeah, so it was both of our pretty much first times um, there. And so just getting to get to know each other and also sort of explore the city together, you know, try some really great food places, go to some really cool stores. Um, yeah, I think it was really, it, it helped bond us um, in the in the sense that we were in a place we had never been before. We didn't have our normal, you know, group you know our families and our friends so we just really had to lean on each other um which i think really made us very close which i think helped with the um on-screen chemistry and the movie and maybe what's like a must-see moment that you do not want people to miss when they watch the movie that's a very good question Thank you. Uh, i think I think actually this is from kind of a, a, a working standpoint versus the actual movie, but I think all the stunt things, because even though we did a lot of our own stunts, we did have stunt doubles because legally we weren't all adults. And so we couldn't explode and like break everything on set because Disney love us and we have to be alive for the movie. Um, but uh, I think watching the stunts and seeing the stunt doubles and I think just for the audience to appreciate how much work went into those scenes from everyone's perspective, whether it's VFX, the writers, director, the stunt doubles, us. I mean, I think that's the, the they were the hardest scenes when it comes to like the, the moving pieces. So I think appreciating those is a big thing. Niles? Uh, yeah, I, I'd agree. The uh... The stunt guys were having to throw themselves down and like, you know, purposely hurt themselves and- They made us look really cool. You know, and I, I appreciate it, you know, but you know, I, I want them to get the recognition they deserve. So I, you know, I'd say people pay attention to that. And I feel like every single line that's said in this movie is a hint, so pay attention. I think definitely the best scene that I definitely look forward to watching every single time and I think everybody else is gonna really enjoy is the classroom scene where we all meet each other. I don't yeah. know why, but that's my favorite scene that we filmed, that we 
skate in general. I love that scene and the obstacle course. Scene. You know, there's a great scene um, that Noah and I do in a club where a concert's going on. And I think that's a really fun scene. The music in that scene's really great, I think. Um, the woman who actually plays Bramblebone, the band on stage, she taught me how to play the guitar for the movie. So I definitely think that's a must see. Scene. Now, Peyton, your character um, has a superpower. Noah, yours doesn't. But if you guys could have your own superpowers, what would they be? Teleportation just outweighs all the other ones. I mean, you can get anywhere you want like that. You can get out of things. If you're wanting to feel some hot weather, you can go to the beach. If you're wanting to feel some cold weather, go to the mountains. It's just that simple. So I think teleportation. I would say the ability to fly would be really cool. Um, kind of like what Noah was saying, just like the ability to go wherever you want, whenever you want would be really cool, especially um, now when we're not really supposed to be at airports. And it's so funny because, you know, we are celeb secrets and I usually ask people about like their secrets and secret talents. What's maybe like a secret about you guys that people wouldn't know? I'm a contortionist, so I can bend myself into really weird places and boxes oh. and stuff like that. Yeah. I keep forgetting that's a thing that you <laughs> Um, I'm a musician. I play wow. piano and violin. Insanely well, like prodigy level well. He plays oh, that. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. I'll set you up. He's the next. He's the next Mozart. Oh, nice. <laughs> you have to live up to that expectation, that pal. So if you don't, it's you. over for you. <laughs> <laughs> next Mozart. Isabella, you sing. I do. I do sing. I am a singer. I'm. Bell, belt around the house. No, I have, I, okay, that's the thing, yeah, no. So I sing and um, I have two, out two EPs, a single and a remix, which I don't know if everyone knows, but if you should, you should go listen to it. Um, but yeah, so I have music out, that's, I guess that's a secret of happening. Okay. What and do you think would be? I, I don't even want to say it. What do you think? Because I, I said yours, so what do you, what oh, do you think? Um, your you fashion sense. Dreams? Your fashion sense and, and hey. sports knowledge and those <laughs> things, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was super fun because uh, when we were in Toronto, the Raptors won the NBA Finals. So oh, we wow. got to spin that all together and like, you know, see everything outside like once they won because we were right down there near the, uh, you know, the stadium. Uh, the, yes. you know, the, you know, so cool. Oh my gosh, so you must be following it like crazy now since basketball. Oh, oh yeah, we, I, I've been watching the bubble. I, I think the game is probably going to come on in a, in a few, yeah. <laughs>